Happy March! Now this month, we are going to be learning more about our good friend Jesus, who loves us so much. I have a question. What's the main difference between nighttime and daytime? During the day, the sun is shining and it's so bright. And at night, there's no sun and it's dark. And there are things that are difficult to do at night unless we have a light to help us. I have a few different pictures of lights that serve different purposes. Let's talk about these lights and how they help us. This is a lighthouse and it helps us see so that boats can see at nighttime and not crash in, during a storm. This is a bike light and it helps people see bikers in the dark. This is a stoplight and it helps us drive safely. Speaking of lights, look at this awesome tea candle that I have. Can you see that it's shining? I love to turn it on and look around in the dark with it. I have something else that lights up. I have a lamp that's shining light on my face right now. Watch, oh, dark light. Do you have anything that lights up in your home? On the count of three, show us. All right, one, two, three. Wow, look at all these things that light up. Today we're gonna hear a true story from the Bible about how we can be a light. I think our clubhouse friends are ready for us. Let's watch. Oh boy, boy, boy. Oh, 
Hi, I'm Manny. My neighbor, Miss Kathy Sue, just surprised me with this. It's a super cool race car. And I can make it go with this remote control. Drivers, start your engines. Can you make a race car sound with me? That's great. Now keep it up. Here we go! And they're off! Look how fast it goes! Wow! That's lap one. Time for a pit stop. Engine's off. You can stop now. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. Oh, wow! My car has real lights! Here we go! Again! This is so cool! Just look at it go! Ho! Ho! Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny! Ho! Ho! Racing a car, are you? Yeah, look at the cool lights on my new race car. Those lights sure are fun, it's true. But did you know that you can be a light too? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. All right, guys, the race is about to begin. Now, when the light turns green, that means go. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie, and it is so great to see you. My dog, Stormy Jane, and her friend, Goldie, are doing races today. Do you like to race? I do, too. Do you know when you're in a race or in a car what the green light means? Yes, a green light means go. But what if it changes from a green light to a red light? What does that mean? Oh, 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 oh stop! <laughs> well, yeah, the red light means stop. Great race, you guys. Here's a treat. <laughs> Jesus told a story about how we can be like a green light. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> oh, you guys do too? Well, okay. Here comes the story. So the true story about Jesus begins with him talking to a huge group of people. Jesus told them he wanted them to go out and love people so that they would know God and praise him. And Jesus really wanted them to understand, so he gave them a picture of a light. Do you know what this is? A light bulb, that's right. And what does a light bulb do? It shines. Look at that, wow. Well, Jesus said that when we love others, it's like we are a shining light that shows everyone God loves you. He really loves you. We can love others by helping them, by sharing, and by saying kind words. When we don't love others, it's like we're covering up our light. Wait, where'd the light go? Everyone say, no, don't cover it up. Ready? No, don't cover it up. Jesus said, let your light shine. <gasps> and we don't have to wait to let our light shine, do we? We can love like Jesus, and we can start huh, now. Look, everybody, we got the green light. Okay, start your engines. We can go, 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 and be a light and love like Jesus. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. All right, I'm going to go love others. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. When we love like Jesus, we can all be lights. Me and you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, how cool is that? 
when we love like Jesus, we can shine like a bright light to everybody around us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, get it? Got it! Good! I can't wait until my friends get here. I'm gonna share my car with them so that I can be a light too. Everybody, start your engines. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me. Always with me because
love you. John 15, 12. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. This month we have a new memory verse. We're gonna practice it together. I'm gonna say our new memory verse and everyone watch me. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Now let's do it together. Are you ready? All right, stand up. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Good job. Our memory verse tells us that Jesus loves us and wants us to love others like he loves us. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus, and so can you. Today we're gonna do a craft, and we're gonna make a candle holder. So what you're gonna need is some tissue paper, a cup, you could do a mason jar or a plastic cup. You're gonna need a tea light that's battery operated, and a glue stick. Okay, so this is the best part. You just get to take tissue paper and you get to tear it into little pieces. So I'm gonna just tear some pieces off. I like this one because it has little sparkles on it. Super pretty. Then I'm gonna do some of this one with stars. Just get some good pieces. Like that size is perfect. Then I want some orange. Orange is gonna be really pretty, I think. Some little pieces, bigger pieces. So this is the best part because you just get to tear some paper. I love tearing paper. Now I want some purple. Let's do this lighter purple. And you're gonna see what's gonna happen is we're going to put them around the outside of our cup. And then when we turn the light on inside, it's gonna shine through and have all these pretty colors that it's shining through. It's kind of like stained glass, like a stained glass window. Okay, so now you're gonna take your glue stick and you're going to just glue the outside of the cup, just like this, all the way around. You wanna make sure that you cover the whole thing. Make sure you don't get any glue on your fingers. All right, I think I got it. Can you see, you can kind of see the purple on here. And then you get to take this and stick it on the outside. And wrap it around like that. And you get to make your own little like stained glass window. Look at how cool that is. I'm gonna do some orange next. All right, and then you wanna find any of the holes and you wanna cover up those holes. So I need more glue up here. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. Am I missing any spots? I think it looks pretty good. I think I need to glue a couple more spots so it sticks better. And then I'm good to go. Okay, so now this is the really cool part. So now you take your tea candle and you turn the light on. Can you see the light on? And then you stick it in here. And let's see if I turn off the light, if we can see it shining through. All right, pause. Can you see that? Can you see the light on the inside? It's kind of hard to see because I'm not in a dark room, but you can see the light on the inside. And it's super fun if you go in a really dark room um, and you can see your light. You made a little key. I'm gonna teach you a song. Hold up your light like this. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, 
I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Friends, let's close in prayer. So would you close your eyes and bow your heads with me? God, we thank you that you are the light of the world, that God, wherever you are, there can be no darkness. God, I thank you that you love us so, so much, God, and that we can show your love to the world by shining our lights and by reflecting you to those around us. So God, I pray that this week that our city of Santa Barbara would be filled with your light um, as we love our friends and our family and our neighbors. Amen. Amen. Bye, friends. Amen.